Hello True Believers, time to do another reaction video. And this time it's with Tom and Ruth, Philippine Adventures. As you can see, look at that handsome guy. But this guy looks just like one of these other vloggers. I don't know what it is about these guys, they all look alike. He looks just like another vlogger, I don't know his name. I'm sure somebody will say in the comments he looks exactly like this other vlogger. I mean, all these Filipino, Philippines vloggers, Philippines, not Philippine, Philippines with an S at the end. They all look the same. They all either look like brain dead or like this guy. Now, I'm going to sound racist because I said that, that all white guys look alike or look the same. But clearly, just from clear from this observation, I've done several of these reaction videos. They either look like brain dead or look like this guy. This guy looks like Fazio. It's probably his twin brother also. So... It's not my fault. I'm just making an observation. I'm just calling it like it is. All white people, all white guys look the same. So here we go. Here we have another one. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thanks to Jim Bob. He's the one who actually sponsored a lot of these drama type videos. And normally I stay away from it. I mean, I've been vlogging for over 10 years and I've never done a drama video except when people come over and live stream and talk about the drama. I mean, I'll comment on it, but I never uh, get involved in it because I have too much already on my plate to be talking about the drama. But for some reason, these people want to start something and don't start something that you're that somebody else has to finish. So Tom and Ruth, the Philippines Adventures, this is your turn. This is your reaction video. And if there's any other ones, the only ones I've seen, I have left are this one and that are still online, that they've kept online for some reason, and Fazio's. So probably Fazio's, I'll probably do this, is the last one that I can see. But if you guys have any links or if you have any videos saved and if you like these drama videos, go ahead, I'll react to them because they're about me. So I've I not that I don't have any choice, but I'm compelled to make these videos. So look at this guy. Look how happy he is. Yeah, you're so happy. Just like uh, uh, what? Uh, you're you're so old that uh, you're gonna die soon. And and guess what? What what we're gonna be? This, the look on our faces, right? Or you're so old, you'll probably get cancer soon. But anyway, that's not my fault. It means it's just a natural thing that happens. Okay. But look at you. Look how happy you are. Yeah. Let's. I haven't seen this video yet, so let's do a reaction. So let's get the volume up and. Let's see what Tom from Tom and Ruth in the Philippines have to say. And he's one of these guys that come to the Philippines because they're bored out of their minds. They can't function properly wherever they're from. So now, now that they're here and this is what they're doing. So let's stay, let's react to what he's got to say and I'll, and I'll give you my, and I'll, and I'll pause and I'll give you my reaction to it. So Tom and Ruth Philippines, thanks you, thank you for giving us uh, today's content, but let's listen to what you got to say. Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today, I want to talk about this B-Bots. Freaking these, uh, <laughs> these howlies, these uh, farangs, they can't even pr pronounce it properly. Look, if you can't pronounce the, the term, the word properly, don't even bother saying it. So, just can you please? It's in Tagalog. Can you please pronounce it properly or make an attempt to pronounce it properly? Only, uh, you know uh, what it is. Uh, there's another blogger, uh, B Bots only. He's been on Adline. Uh, I don't know how many years. I mean, I was aware of it back uh, three, four years ago that he was actually online doing this. So what this is is this gentleman, uh, Filipino American. Uh, supposedly from San Francisco area, uh, came here and as uh, what he's doing is he's getting these little girls to uh, modeling, saying he's working for a modeling agency and he's doing uh, 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 things and actually taking them to the room and things like that. So uh, I'm glad they caught this guy. Uh, he has been uh, a thorn in a lot of people's side because... A thorn in a lot of people's side. So a th thorn in your side and what did you do about it and what is this thorn on your side okay 
So, you know, here we are in the Philippines. There's a lot of poverty over here. I'm not here to change the, the system. I'm not to do anything to do anything to corrupt this about it. But I am here to do something about, uh, but th like I said, these guys, what do they got there? They're feeding programs, feed a person for the day. They're worse off than they actually are, like they're making a difference. Anyway, so finally, it's like uh, he's known about me for several years, just like brain dead and his cult followers. They didn't do anything about it until now. So they decided to be, it's like I said, this is these are the like the line he said, the analysis, this it's the same thing. Why do why, why do all these people? I almost said why well, do all these white people? Why do all these people that happen to be white coincidentally want to react to something? And same thing. It's like he's been watching my videos for years and years, and only after I've been in prison that he makes a comment. And now that I'm out of prison, you know what is your comment now? And I've been a thorn on his side. And you see, people they don't understand. They just kind of see things from their perspective from their western standards and that's the stupidest thing that you could ever do is apply your western standards over here i apply my western standards but, but i know when i'm doing it but this person obviously is clueless he doesn't know he's applying his western standards me when it comes to situations like this desperate times with desperate people it's a means to an end so, you know what he's talking about my methods uh, as long as the important thing is they get results Okay, and what my methods are, you could be politically, it's not, it's like, because it's not politically correct, you could criticize them. But my methods have been proven. They make a difference. They change people's lives. They give them an opportunity to be able to feed themselves and teach them how to fish versus these jokers like this. They're pretty much useless. They're pretty much on their own over here to promote themselves and to, and, and what have you done? Absolutely nothing. He's been doing that to unsuspected uh, Filipinas, uh, young girls. Uh, some is, I don't know how old they are. I mean, they look really young. In this. Well, like I said, the, the one that we are dealing with, they're all over age now. Same people. See, but we got to be politically correct over here. And that's just not something we could do just because that a person as a certain age it's this is the funny thing is they think that just because that a person is not it's like when they're 18 it's like it's okay for them to be prostitutes but below 18 oh it's not okay I, see where the hypocrisy comes in i'm not okay with it at any age it could be 28 it could be 18 it could be 16 it could be 17 it could be 15 they when they when a when a lot of these girls become prostitutes they're doing it at a way earlier age when they start and for the for people like this, it's okay once they turn 18. Then they can come over here and they can prostitute it up. They can whore it up. They can monger it up. But that's okay. To them, prostitution is okay just as long as it's 18. But I mean, prostitution is not okay at any age. But for them, it's okay. Some of the older videos. Of course, YouTube is taking it down finally. Uh, I said something about that about three years ago. YouTube is finally take it down. Finally, well, I'm still here. I'm still vlogging. I got your face right here, also. So YouTube could take this down. They could take this video down, but I could always recreate another one. I just kind of got used to it. Just after several dozen times, several dozen videos. Like I said, you can't really. It's just a. Uh, it's a movement. It's no longer. It's when it's an idea. It just won't die. Even while I was gone, the videos are still ongoing. Uh, that someone should do something about this guy. Uh, what he was doing was he was he would you would never see his face. You would only see p pieces parts of him. Every once in a while, you catch a video glimpse of him in a mirror or something in a mall or a uh, tile. Uh, you oh my goodness! Talk about stalking. Talk talk about stalker. This guy's obsessed. He's like, I gotta catch him. Is that him in the in the mirror? Is that him in his reflection? You could actually see, but actually at that time I just cut cut all aspects. Uh, I stayed away from that because the guy is just bad news. He just he's just uh, uh, doing bad things. Uh, so I'm glad they caught this guy. This is just bad things. You mean are you talking about illegal things? Or just bad things, come in your opinion. 
Yeah, you got to be more specific over here. So this is this guy just made this video, but as you can see, he's very vague. He doesn't. He kind of toes the line. And oh, he's he's doing bad things. He didn't really say anything illegal that I'm doing. So that's kind of maybe apprehension on his part. It's a short video. It was called B-Bots. He was a Filipino uh, American man. Uh, looked to be some type of. Uh, uh, maybe military or something. I don't know what he was doing in the U.S. as far as job. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, where did military come from? See, this is just, he's just pulling crap out of his butt. I mean, if you want I here's simple advice, not to this guy, to everybody. If you don't know what you're talking about, keep your mouth shut. Don't be just pulling shit out of your ass and just going on video and on public. <laughs> At least even the dumbest person knows exactly what I'm doing back in America and the military is the farthest thing from it. So piece of advice again, not just this person, it's a simple advice. If you don't know what the hell you're talking about, keep your mouth shut about it. You know, talk about things that you know, but if you don't know about it, don't be putting information out there because I put out information out there all the time. And I'm not, me in the military is the last thing. I think me and me in the military is like oil and water. We would never we would never mix. I mean, some some person, some bureaucrat telling me what to do, that's really going to work. That's really going to fly well with me. Ops or anything like that. But apparently he was here uh, doing bad things. So, um... See, this guy, uh, he, he doesn't want to actually say what these bad things are. So this is where he kind of... Uh, pulled back a bit there. He didn't want to go out there on a limb. He just wanted to do his reaction video and say, you know, he's finally happy that I'm back, in, that I'm in prison. Why? Because of jealousy. It's like old guys like this, they're just, their life has passed them by. And what did they do with it? Absolutely nothing. And of course, I'm doing this. I'm taking advantage or I'm enjoying everything and I'm helping other people enjoy their lives not only in the beginning in the middle and whatever a little left is but this guy is just he's he's uh he's his life has passed him by and my analysis of it is he doesn't want and he of course it's painful for him to watch other people not let their life pass by and enjoy everything especially especially everything about the philippines versus this guy he's never going to be able to do it because just like brain dead he doesn't get it also I'm glad they caught him. I'm glad YouTube took all his videos down. And I'm glad he's not. So you're glad. You, uh, and then, uh, okay, now uh, the videos are down. Well, what about this video? What about this video about you? Are you glad about it? So let's continue. I'm doing the things that he was doing. Uh, you never know. Uh, and a lot of these people that's on the YouTube channels, uh, you know, even and granted, uh, even the ones that just want money, uh, you know, for, uh, hey, you know, I want to help out the poor and needy. It's fine. It's fine to do that. But you're going to find yourself in trouble because when you're helping out uh, people and uh, there's a lot of people out there that's jealous and um, it's sad that people do get jealous. And Okay, well, there's a interesting turn of direction of his con of his of his vlog all of a sudden he starts making sense it's like the people what comes to jealousy so that's something that i've already talked about when it comes to jealousy is very dangerous that's what makes it really, it's very dangerous now because of jealousy so even this guy with his limited capacity was able to figure that out and he couldn't see this is the problem here is this guy can't put two and two together you know about jealousy but you couldn't take what you already know about jealousy and already maybe subconsciously you are trying to put it together but consciously of course like this guy there's just some people that look at at his age you would think he would know better but there's going to be a lot of people and he's close to dying also because look how old he is maybe he's just been smoking too much like brain dead but the point is even at this advanced stage you think with all his knowledge and all his wisdom and all his experiences that he's be, he'll be able to put two, two and two together how jealousy and greed and what happened to me can come together and explain what actually happened or where, where i'm actually the victim here so he's almost there but like i said maybe because of denial maybe because just, he's just plain stupid that he couldn't and and when it comes to stupid people like this there's no fix for him you can't fix stupid 
when people donate money to help the people that are poor, that need food and need housing, need shelter, uh, and they're doing good. There's some good sites out there that people are doing good, but you've got uh, people that are jealous and don't want them to see that they're doing good and helping people, and it causes problem. And what it does is it causes a bad situation with uh, some of the other Filipinos get jealous because they didn't get it. And then now this person is making sense now. So that's what we're talking about, okay? Because obviously you could see in our videos that we're actually helping people. And that's what I, I'm always transparent when it comes to the money. You contribute money, the money goes here. And if I say, if I'm going to use it, if I'm going to use it on football boots, or I'm going to use it on football uh, football tournaments, or I'm going to be using it for, on football uniforms, and if I'm going to be using it on a car, or I'm going to be using it for lunch, or if I'm going to be using it for gas, if I'm going to be using it for my for cameras, if I'm going to be using it for electric bills, it's pretty obvious. I've got like the same way. It's like I already know that, so I'm so I have no problem telling people that I'm going to be using it for this, or I'm going to be using it for for the microphone, or I'm going to be. And if you're honest with people, they'll understand that. That's how I I build trust. Look at this guy. Never trust a white person. And you got. Uh, just don't people. But then again, you can't trust any Filipinos here also. Well, then you can't trust anybody. The only person they probably trust is me. Not this guy. Not the Filipinos here. But let's uh, let's continue about his jealousy. Uh, so at least that actually makes sense. That I, he probably, he's actually saying something that I agree with. But like I said, be careful with like when all these other people are doing it. Right. And then you're going to make the counter argument. It's like, oh, you're using the money to have sex with them. Oh, you're using this. You're using that. <laughs> it's a, what? Where is your proof? I just showed you proof that the girl that I was that I've been deal, that I've been taking care of for two years is still a virgin. Now, brain dead can't say that. But what, what brain dead has is a pregnant, knocked up young girl. That's what brain dead has. I have a medical legal report that says the girls I'm dealing with is are virgins, but brain dead. His uh, his evidence is, oh, I, I got the girl pregnant before we got married. So here, th this is the uh, this is the disconnect, you know. And then why? Because people like this guy, their lives pass them by, and they want other people. Misery loves company, and they want other people to be miserable also. So that's where it comes from. So you have to, when you're watching this video and you want and you watch guys like this, right? Even after what I went through, well, you have to decide what do you want to be. You want to be this guy whose whose life has passed him by, and he's gonna criticize and talk badly about other people that are, are actually doing something and enjoying and appreciating. Look, I've already said that nobody goes into the wine business without enjoying wine, okay? So, of course, when I, when I get into these young girls, now, I'll admit, I like young, pretty girls, okay? If you don't want to admit that, then that's your thing. If you don't like young, pretty girls, then that means you like, what, young, good-looking boys, Okay, so I mean, is that what this guy is? He looks like a typical guy that likes boys. Okay, now if I'm guilty of liking young pretty girls, then that's probably why I went to prison. Then so be it. Then let me do the time. But I'm not going to do the time for rape. I'm not going to do the time for human trafficking because uh, at the end of the day, what I'm really selling is time. Time. Time is for sale. The problem here in the Philippines, time has absolutely no value. So, so they'll sit there, they'll waste it, and they'll put you in prison because to them, time means absolutely nothing. But for us Americans, time is more important than money. Over here, nothing more is more important than money. And that's where the problem comes in. That's where we get these problems like that happened to me. And what makes me obviously different or where my skill comes in is I can b take that kind of information and apply it. So what I'm doing is I'm selling time, okay? Because time is what you need. So if you want to be with a virgin who hasn't been corrupted by guys like this, then you're going to need time, okay? And if you don't have the time, but you have the money, then you can buy time, okay? And that's what I'm doing. I'm selling time. 
because time is what you're going to need. And if you don't have any time, then that's what you're going to need to buy. Okay. If you want to be able to, now, I'll give you a, the great example is with, with joy and Christian. Okay. That was at the beginning, right? Even though I, what I didn't do, they got married on their own. They have their family on their own. That has nothing to do with me. What I did was I, what I did was I sold the time. Obviously at that time I sold it very cheap because I didn't have much of a reputation or, or much uh, validity or much value, I guess value back then. But anyway, let's get to this guy's video. So time. So I probably get to, I'll probably go, go into more is, is time. What I'm doing is I'm selling my time and also my expertise. Uh, my, if you want something done, like I said, if you don't want a Filipina all tatted up with, uh, uh, when tattoos over here, when it comes to, when it comes to tattoos over here, that's like a for sale sign for prostitutes. It's just like they're saying, Hey, I'm for sale. This is my for sale sign, these tattoos. And then you're going to say, Oh, that's not fair. But all. okay, fine. Here's a statement. I always say this again. Not all girls with tattoos are prostitutes, but all prostitutes have tattoos. Okay, so pretty much as a disclaimer to clear it up. Because there are going to be people that are going to be politically correct and sensitive out there because I'm making a stereotypical statement. But let's get back to what he, this person is saying. Okay, this person is old. Gosh, when I retired to the Philippines, I was still in my mid-30s. I was actually 34 probably started bevel to only I moved her to the Philippines when I was 35 and I started bevel to only when I was 36. And before that, people I'm sure know what I was doing before I was in my 30s. I've never wasted any time. I've always been taking advantage of any opportunity that came by. And when I was here in the Philippines, I saw what the problem was. There's all these pretty girls and they're going to be they're in poverty, this kind of mind crushing poverty. But then at the same time, it's like that I'm seeing them, what they're doing is that it's like they're being wasted. They're just ending up becoming from Dalagas to Dalanas. I don't know if this person is going to do anything about it. And what's the solution to that? Okay. I guess my, pro uh, I guess my problem was I was politically incorrect because the police, when the first question they asked me is, why are you only helping beautiful girls? Why are you only helping pretty girls? Okay. Look, I'm not a foundation. I'm not the government. I'm not an NGO. I'm just one person. Okay. And at least I'm doing something about it. And what is this person doing? Absolutely nothing. They just want to criticize the people that are doing something about it, but it's because they can't do it. He's suffering from his own problem of jealousy also. So stupidity and jealousy is the biggest problem that these people have. They can't apply. As you can see, he knows information. He just can't apply it. And that's where probably the stupidity comes in. People out there just uh, roaming the internet and just want to cause problems. But at the end of the day, there's, I, I think if I would think about it, there's probably about 10 to 15 uh, uh, foreigners that are actually on here on the YouTube, you know, donate money, uh, give me money, give me money for this, give me money for that. Now, I have to say, I get money to another uh, couple of Americans that, needed the money for operations and things like that. I gave for uh, Mike uh, my Philippine journey because he was in need and I think he's the one who died. I think isn't he dead? So he's dead and then there was something there I remember, wasn't he the one that was helping a young girl with college and then after that he wasn't helping them anymore. And me, I've helped several girls out with college already and actually helped them finish. And then what happened to this guy? And then he got a heart attack. So and then this uh, this guy donated money to it. And where did it go? What what happened to it? Where is he now? Where is the girl now? And I do not. As for me, I have plenty of proof that the girls that I there's several girls that I've helped and they've moved on them. They've had happier lives and they have become better because of me. Not like brain dead. Brain dead not, will never be, be able to say the same thing. Look at what happened to Michelle after she was, after he used her up for several years and she was too old anymore and there was all these young girls instead. And then look what happened to her. She's worse off now. That's the sad part. It's like so unfair what happened to her. It's like she built that channel. That channel wasn't 
uh, if she didn't, if she didn't, it was her that made that channel popular and look at where she is now. And after brain dead, just used her, didn't even fix her teeth. Didn't never even took her to the dentist. What kind of person is that? He just uses her. And after he, she gets old, like dumps her, throws her out to the street, replaces her with another one. But the irony is, it's like he gets another one. He gets another young girl replacement, but he ends up trapping him. And uh, I can feel the tension when, because let me tell you something about Filipinas. When you get married to them, that's when they show their true personality. Remember, uh, the rule when it comes to marriage is like, when you marry a woman, you don't want her to change. But after you get married, she's going to change. And for men, uh, women don't want men, women want men to change. They, they don't want them to be like their usual bachelor ways and want them to change. So it's opposite. Well, guess what, brain dead? You got trapped. And what he wanted to really do was he wanted to kind of, he wanted, because he's a cheater and he cheated on Michelle with, uh, with Homewrecker or Itchy Crotch. And now he can't do it. I mean, he can do it, but he has to do it behind her back, which he didn't want to do. That's why he kicked her out. And then especially now with the, with the baby compounding the problems, the no sleep, and then also she's showing, she's bringing out her true personality. And when, when they, when a Filipina shows her true personality, now that she's married and not, not only is she married, she's got a baby. Oh, it's going to be a rough time for brain dead. That's where uh, you could, I could feel the tension. And then, and then he opened up something with me, which, which probably compounds the situation between uh, itchy crotch showing her true personality now that she's got him trapped in a in a marriage and a baby and then the baby compounding the situation that you gotta he, that thing takes 24 hour stressful care and then you've got your legal issues also by making those videos this person on the other hand never crossed hasn't crossed the line yet he hasn't said anything criminal he hasn't said any my personal information he didn't even include my family which is which is not something brain dead can say but let's continue so it's not that long i like to see a fellow american in need uh he's from texas and he had a heart operation and thank goodness he got the money he needed to have the operation and he is alive today because of people that have donated the money, I think he ended up getting like almost 22,000 U.S. dollars in donations. So it worked out really well for him. And uh, uh, kudos for him. And, and I'm so happy he is doing well. But they're so... Okay, what did this video was supposed to be about me become about heart attack? Many uh, that are out there uh, that just uh, take money, money, money. Uh, and who knows where it goes? I mean, you know, hey, I'll send you a hundred bucks. Well, okay, thank you. And then where do you know the money goes? You can say, oh, I put uh, this in and I did that, but you know, I don't know. So, see, that's where it goes. See, it, it easily, just take the video, put it out. That, that's where the money goes. Everything, there's nothing free. You just take a picture, just take a video of what it is that you're buying. If we're going to the dentist, if we're buying medicine, if we're buying food, if we're buying gas, if we're paying electric bills, that's all. It's not that complicated. It's not that hard. And if people are not showing it, that means they're hiding it. For me, I don't I have no reason to hide it. If I'm using it for personal things like my internet so I can upload videos, so I can entertain people and inform people, I'll tell them. And if they don't want to, that's fine. That's their money. But you can't tell other what people do with it. If they want to use the money so I can pay the internet, it's like, what is my internet? Like six fifty, sixty dollars a month so I can make entertaining videos. So of course I use it for personal use also. Everybody knows that. People respect that. Honesty is I have no problem telling people this is where I put the this is where I put the money. But when people don't show you where they put the money, that's when it becomes a problem. My channel will not. Of course, there's going to be people that are going to say, oh, I was just keeping the money, obviously. Okay, and then that's people that are just throwing me under the bus. And what is their purpose? You know, what exactly what it is. If they're telling the girls, let's say, oh, he's just keeping the money. And then uh, the girls are, yeah, yeah, yeah. So why are you saying that? Because you want to get in with the girl. You want to. Uh, you want to create a common enemy so you become closer, okay? So if you want to throw me under the bus because of your own agenda, that's one thing. But don't be saying that, that I'm doing it just to... <laughs> Not be like that. I don't want uh, my 
my town to be a, a donation site to, to help me live here in the Philippines. I just want to just share information. That's what I'm about. Uh, I'm not about uh, taking hard-earned money from Americans or any kind of uh, foreign people that, that uh, just work hard like I did all my life. And uh, nothing's free, right? Yeah, that's all he did. So he's pretty much saying all he did was work all his life and then his prime and then his, and then what did he do with it, right? This is what his, this is just his lot in life. And here he is trying to, uh, and here he is trying to get back or to, what's the word I'm looking for? Redeem what he, that he wasted all his life working. Okay. I mean, I, there was a part where I, I worked also, but I didn't want to waste the rest of my life where that's all I did. That was all my lot in life was all I did was, was work for somebody and do what they want me to do. I didn't want to spend the rest of my life uh, just doing it for the money. Okay, I wanted to do something I enjoyed. What that is, probably I don't know yet, but I... Uh, obviously I must have been doing something that I, I must have been enjoying myself too much because I got people like this guy and his stupidity and his jealousy uh, where he's making videos like this so but I want to thank you for watching I want to talk about uh, this be bots only uh, uh, that's like when I, when I hear that it's like uh, it's like nails on a chalkboard this gentleman got caught finally uh, I don't know how old he is. I think he's probably in his mid thirties, something like that. And uh, he That's was close. going after the young children, uh, young girls. He about one time he had three. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> girls in a car, uh, young ages, just people sitting on the side of the road, and a, one of the girls had. Wow! Talk about stalkers. See, this is the biggest problem with with these people. They can't just admit that they're obsessed and they're watching. It's like it's like they know all this. They know all this information. They know what I do on a daily basis. Oh, but but I don't watch him. I just read it for the articles. Yeah, that's that's the ticket. So that's. <laughs> Ah, what what is it with these guys like this? If you watch Bad What's Only, just admit it. You watch Bad What's Only, it's uh, it's no big deal if that's what. You... And uh, the problem is what they what a lot of guys, these guys like to do is they like to watch my videos, take the information, and and pretend it's their own, which is fine. I mean, imitation is the best form of of uh, flattery or a compliment. But uh, in the, the proper thing to do is to always give credit to where you got the information from. I mean, I like to do that if I know where the, the, the source came from. If I take somebody's idea and use it on my own, I usually like to uh, reference it. But with guys like this, like this uh, I remember when I did a video on Tampo and all of a sudden everybody is an expert on Tampo for some reason. I mean, people usually just saw it as pouting, and then I had to explain, what, okay, this is what tampo is like. This is what it is like in the Filipino culture. And then all of a sudden, everybody is an expert on tampo also after watching my video. And they're, they're able to go, oh, okay, so that's how it is. Uh, okay, I'll make a video about that and pretend it's my own information, and which is fine. But usually you just make the reference, okay, I got this topic from Bebots Only. He was discussing tampo. But anyway, let's get back to this guy's video. On school uniform. So sad, so sad. He'd take a hey, let's go to McDonald's, let's get a couple of things. Uh, oh, that, that's that's so terrible. Just because you're in a uniform, it doesn't mean that you like McDonald's, you don't like French fries. Is that it? Remember, I think there was this John Mayer song. It's like, you know, these, these girls, yes, they're students, but they become friends, they become lovers, they become mothers. Just like Joy, okay? You have to look at everything as the big picture over here, or you're not getting it. If you're just looking at a small window, a small picture, right? And what am I going to do, right? I can't wait for them for what? This is the biggest problem with guys like this is like, you, it's like you, you don't find the right girls. Okay. This is the Philippines. These are a product of their, their products of their own environment, which is a harsh poverty environment and left to their own devices. Everybody knows exactly. And that's probably exactly where they want people to end up. Okay, but then you guys, people like this that are inept, that are impotent, that can't do anything about it, of course they're going to criticize people like me that actually can make a relationship with these girls because guess what? 
you know, those videos that, like I said, they're like three or four years ago. Well, these girls are over age now. Okay, they're old now. Nah, probably not by my, by, not probably maybe by my side, but they're older now. Let's say they're old. They're all over age now. Okay, and a lot of the, that's what a lot of the girls, I mean, I'm in a relationship with these girls for the long haul. Okay, for years and years and years. I still have relationships with them from the first generation. I have one friend that comes, when she comes over for Christmas, we get together, we have we have coffee, quote unquote, and relive old times. Now, of course, a lot of people are going to be jealous of that. A lot of people are going to be upset. But I didn't do that to make you jealous. I didn't do that to make it. It's not my fault that you wasted your whole life working for the man and it's working for the money and that's whole, your whole lot in life, okay? And maybe I, I should just I should just accept that these people are not going to be able to enjoy what I have. And of course, it's going to make them angry. It's going to make them jealous. And they're going to do stupid things like this video. Uh, you know, and most of these kids never had McDonald's before. Most of these kids didn't even know what a French fry was. So it's it's an experience for them that they never had. They don't even have. Oh, and, it, and it, please subscribe. So he's making this video so you can subscribe to his channel. So we got like five. It's, it's, it's got pretty good traction. Look at that. It's 5,000 views. So it is sad that they, he took advantage of it. But they it's sad that I took advantage of that. So taking somebody to eat French fries and uh, stay, and then uh, keeping their virginities is a sad thing because of this guy's standards. They got him. He's out of the picture now. And I think he's been doing this. Whew, I'm out of the picture. Now imagine how disappointed this guy is going to be when he finds out that I made a video about him, that I'm not out of the picture. What does that say about people, about somebody like me? Am I a survivor? Am I a fighter? Never give up. Never surrender. Never say die. And what about this guy? <laughs> now, the good thing is uh, he's old and uh, he's not going to live any longer. So my advice to you is you should take whatever it is healthy years you have left and do something productive. Do something constructive. You know, don't don't be doing these. Don't be sharing your stupidity and your ignorance because you can't put two and two together. Uh, it's sad. Hopefully you realize that before you die. About four or five years, maybe longer. I could be wrong. Yes, you are very wrong. So like I said, stop talking about things you have no idea over because it's not only it, not only you're stupid, it makes you even look stupider and ignorant. And someone will probably tell me I'm wrong. Uh, but I'm glad they caught the guy. The guy's gone. He's glad. Well, I'm glad that I'm going to be disappointing you very much. Like I said, I don't know anything about this guy. I usually avoid people like this. But when they want to start something with me, don't start something that I'm going to have to finish. And he won't be coming out for a while. Uh, well, I'm back. And... The problem is now that I'm out of prison, you would think that so the, like cowards like this, not only are they stupid, they're also cowards. It's like, okay, why don't you make a video about me now that I'm out of prison? People like this are so brave when I'm in prison. It's like, oh, I can't do anything about it. They thought I'm going to be spending the rest of my life in prison. Nothing could be so wrong, obviously. But the point is, you're never, they're never going to make a video again about me now because I'm out of prison. What are they going to say? In their defense, what the hell are they going to say? Okay. Are they going to say sorry on their channel here? No, they're never going to say that, just like brain dead. But that's what you, we have to, we have to expose these people for what they really are. Uh, again, thank you for watching and please hit subscribe. So this is the, so this guy is, um, yeah. I'm not sure what to say, but he probably he gets a pass also because at least he was he might be stupid, but he was smart enough not to say anything illegal and not to say not to share any personal information. He wanted to just take advantage of what the the talk of the town is at the time. And uh, I probably can't fault him for that, but at least he didn't cross the line. So Tom and Ruth Philippines, here's your video. I you get a pass also. The Limey gets a pass. You get a pass, but uh, Brain Dead Ned doesn't get a pass. And if that's what the community wants, if that's what they want to make an example out of him, then so be it.
So this is today's reaction video. The only one left that I think is uh, Fazio is the only one that's, uh, but everybody else has took their videos down already. I mean, they made the video, they were brave enough to make the video, but they're too much cowards to keep the video up. They can't even keep the video anymore. But this guy kept the video up, so he gets a reaction video, but at least he gets a pass. But let me know what you think, what your comments are, and uh, what, uh, and like I said, there's not really much to do with this guy, but uh, the main target over here is brain dead because he broke, he broke the law. He knows he broke the law. This is clearly where the judge is going to say, you broke the law. Not like with my situation where it's like suspicion. Yes, I, I, we went under mirror and, and said, see, but this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He's not really, he's not interested in that information. He just wants to get, go on gossip, rumors, and innuendos. And why would, and why? Because he's a stupid, jealous moron. That's all. He doesn't want to, if you're going to do that, my piece of advice, don't talk about anything if you're not going to research the information. If you're going to be just pulling out shit out of your ass, then don't talk about it. And don't go on video and don't go on YouTube making those comments. Because it's going to make you look more like an ass more than you are now. If you, if anybody, if you guys agree, disagree, let me know. But this is my video about Tom and Ruth Philippines adventures. So... Uh, my advice to you is just make sure life is short. You only have one life to live. To live, Make sure you don't end up stupid like this guy, making stupid public videos like this guy. So that's this is your choice. And you may have wasted your life uh, just like this guy, but today is the first day of the rest of your life. Uh, go out and do something about it. Anyway, this is Babbitts Only. Thanks for watching.